WARNING! This game contains graphic features which may be disturbing to some viewers. If you are easily offended by this kind of stuff, please just go away. Thanks. How's it going, Jigs and Mates? This is Mr. Jaws, and we're here with Sketchbook. Yes, we're back with this horrific game. Um, my voice is feeling a bit better now. I think the fact I've been doing so much rooster voice and trying to vary my voices in this game, um, my throat has actually become better, which is good, I guess, I don't know. It's also very exciting to play this game, so I feel like I'm now getting some kind of adrenaline rush, which is helping. So that's good. Oh, and another thing, this music is really nice. I'll just say that. Because you know we had that other music, which, like, every start of the episode I just hated. Well, this song is actually really nice. In fact, they should just play this song the whole entire game. I wouldn't mind that. But anyway, I'm getting distracted. We are back with the story. The previous episode, I think we found some mind-reading bread that told us something about how to post memes. And then people's like, no, please, I want to talk to the mind-reading bread a bit more. But more importantly... We just found out Beef has been accepted for going to the Royal Police Academy or whatever it was. Which is very interesting because she doesn't seem like the kind of person who would get accepted. But what do I know? So here we are with the story. Isn't it a good thing you got picked to go on to the Academy? I suppose so. This is a good thing though. Your parents will be really thrilled. Yeah, I'm curious about your parents actually. You say they're not in often. Is that because they're dead or something? They aren't here. Mm. They are always gone, so it doesn't matter. Uh. Oh, also another thing. I have noticed that I'm using my normal voice more with Beef. But at this point, I'm seeing Beef less as a girl and more as a person. And I'm not saying that in the sense, oh yeah, I don't believe women are people. I'm saying that more in the sense, Beef is someone I could mistake for a guy as well as a girl in like her heart. It's a really weird way of explaining it. Basically, I feel like I am Beef. Let's just go for that, okay? I'm not, I'm not saying I'd mess up some squirrels on a pavement or anything, but I don't know, her struggles are really making me, like, get attached to this character. So if I go in my normal voice with her, I'm sorry. It must be rough. When do they come around? During the holidays, they come. Hey, do you remember anything before you came here? That's like trying to ask if someone remembers being in their mother's belly. That was a quick conversation change. It must be hard for her to talk about it. Hmm... The only thing I remember before coming here was someone screaming something. Oh, well that's already more than I remember in being like in my mum's belly. Screaming something? Screaming what? Pilla pilla umam umam maili pachu ira- Oh no, <laughs> I've got to say in Rooster's voice. Oh, that's going to be even more fun. Pilla pilla umum umum maili pachu ira raka raka no panopo istili a cracking cookie candidly Ellison Lomfamfo. I'm pretty sure only like 60% of that was correct, but that's fine. I can deal with that. That doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. It could have just been sounds. Who knows? Well, it's not very efficient to sit on things you can't figure out. Best to just leave it alone. Hmm, although I'm quite curious. Was that some kind of like demon ritual there? Something smarter happened there, but I don't know what that was. Why is efficiency so important to you? What? What could be more efficient than being efficient? Oh, okay, this is touching some interesting grounds for me here. Your fine life is beautiful when you do your best to be... EFFICIENT! Hmm... I have something about this, to be fair. Um, I'm kind of the same, but in a different way. And not just YouTube, I do college as well. And a full-time job. Yeah, no, I don't really have a life. I definitely don't have a social life anymore. But this is, the, this is again, the same kind of argument I have. Just doing everything in the name of efficiency. This game's starting to touch my heart here. I'm, I'm very creeped out. Beef and Rooster spent the night arguing about what is and what is not efficient. Beef and Rooster got a lot closer. Yeah, that seems to be keep happening. And then they get split apart. And then they get back together. Where is this going? Oh, I'm really curious, like, how this goes now. You posted the meme before school. It did well! Why did someone just comment same? Zoop smork in my mork. <laughs> that is a cute meme, though, I gotta admit. Yes, human disguise. Oh, who are you? Yo, beef. Yo, jam. Jam. Okay, well, as long as your name isn't James, that's fine. Because I look nothing like that. 
Although, in fairness, I wouldn't mind looking that gorgeous. Although, I couldn't wear a cap. And I like looking kind of nerdy with greasy hair and glasses. I just feel like it's a part of my identity at this point. Sorry, can't stay to talk. I need to walk Jello to class. Good meme this morning, by the way. Oh, is this the boyfriend guy? Okay. You must be more popular than I thought. That guy was on the baseball team, right? That is my top Patreon. He's a huge fan of my memes. It's pretty good stuff there. I wouldn't say we are friends. It's more like business partners. I supply the memes. He supplies the cash. Fair trade. Hmm. This makes me cringe pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, and now this is making me think of the time when everyone says it's bad that YouTubers earn money. Well, you know, remember that thing about PewDiePie? How much he earns? I was like, oh my god. And really, it just didn't matter. Anyway, I'm getting way too... Controversial, that's the word. Okay, everyone shut up and listen for a few minutes. As you know, coming in this week is Trash Day, as is tradition every year here at school. Trash Day is an important holiday here at school. It is the only time of year where everyone throws a ton of trash out all of the windows into a dumpster. Okay, it is the best event of the year here at school. We just throw a bunch of random shit out the window. I'm pretty sure that violates all health and safety in any normal classroom. American, uh, British, Japanese, okay, it's not a metaphor for anything, so don't think about it too hard. Yeah, that's pretty much with anything in this game, man. Don't think about it too hard. Why is beef and rooster and sage a reference to food? Don't think about it too hard. What is jam short for? Don't think about it too hard. Where the hell are beef's parents? Don't think about it too hard. Oh, and Beef is surprised. But don't think about it too hard. Oh, I almost completely forgot about Trash Day. Oh, damn. And you're going to the academy. You're going... You're going to be a police officer, Beef. We have to be more prepared next time. I am also unreasonably excited to throw trash out of a window. As class goes on, Jam and Jello aggressively play footsies with each other. It distracts the entire room. Really? Can you distract someone that much? Or, like, you know, a whole room... How can you distract a whole room with footsies? And the teacher's fine with it. Okay. Ah, uh, young love blossoming before me. So beautiful and sweet. Uh, you two crazy kids. Uh, why is Professor Sage just letting them link their toes like that in front of everyone? See, why does this game read my mind? Red. <laughs> okay. Class ended awkwardly. Yeah, because that that is also against procedure. So we have a class here that throws trash out of the windows and um, allows relationships to occur in the class environment. And I don't mind, I don't mind like, maybe secretly holding hands under a class table. That's pretty cute, although I've never seen that. I mean, to the point it gets very distracting for everyone, but whatever, that's fine. Oh, back at home. Days are just flying by in this game. I'm pretty sure if I played like an hour of this game, a year would go by. Those two are pretty affectionate. Why is the plot revolving around them so much? Something's gonna happen. Beef is gonna kill, like, the girl and say, I did it because I wanted Jam. And then it's gonna turn out that Jam is actually short for James, which is short for James Charles, which is an abbreviation of Mr. Charles, and Beef wants me. Or I'm just being paranoid. Who, Jam and Jello? When did your teacher stop that? Yeah, that's what I thought. He usually doesn't. He isn't very efficient. Alright, and now I've lost any link with her that I have with efficiency. That's fine. The phone in Beef's pocket violently blo- Oh god! Okay, I spluttered a bit there, but that son of a bitch. I can't believe that son of a bitch. Beef was sinking her hands into her phone case as hard as she could, cracking the side of the plastic enclosure. Oh, what's going on? Hey, sorry, Jello's birthday is next week and I have to buy her a gift. I will re up next month. Oh no! I knew something bad was gonna happen. That son of a bitch, I can't believe he would fuck with me like that. Oh no, they're just serving music. Isn't that only $20? Yeah, I know, let's kill him for it. It's not only $20. Now I can't buy the next triple A game coming out this week. A hundred B's versus an old man. Hmm, okay. Beef, this seems really unreasonable. No, it's not, we had a system. Mmm. It was hard to sleep that night. Mm hmm. 
Burling anger in me kept me from keeping my eyes closed. Oh, and they feel the same way because they're linked. Oh, shit. Beef, don't do it. I know she's going to, like, throw an... Oh, you posted a meme. It could have done better. So I'm getting stabbed in the neck, and then the comment section is like, You okay? Are you mentally sane? Are you sure you can do the police to cut him? Okay. Oh. Yo, Beef. Yo, Canada. Good morning, Beef. Mmm. Hey, are you mad about the Patreon thing? No. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. I was really worried. Beef, I made us lunch today. Do you want to eat it with me? Mm, are you going to poison her? She's going to start... Beef is going to start killing humans. I know she is. I'll think about it. That's a yes, too. Something bad's going to happen. I'm trying not to get to the point where I stammer again and I just completely lose my track. And then, like, everything just goes to shit. Everybody shut up. Trash day is tomorrow, so we need to brief on it so there are no troubles. Every year we have a different police officer to oversee the event so things don't get out of hand. Are we going to throw a person out of the window? This year, Officer Strop is here to give you a brief skim of how tomorrow will go and answer any questions you have about being a royal police officer. Later today, we also... We also we... Okay. Later today, we also will be congratulating the three candidates chosen to go to the academy at the end of the year. Who the hell are you? Also, why do you have such big boobs? Officer Strop. Okay. Good morning, everyone. What a handsome Canadian man in the back. I will be going over the rules for tomorrow so everything stays nice and legal. Also, I did catch on that for some reason Officer Strop likes Rooster. She's going to get a huge surprise when she finds out he's a sock. So everything stays safe. No students will be allowed outside ground level on campus. Trash may only be thrown from the fourth story and up so it gets into the dumpster. Wait. Trash may only be thrown from the fourth story and up. How does that work? I thought it was going to be like, you just kind of drop it from a certain height. Okay, this is very weird health and safety regulation going on, but, you know, don't think about it too hard. All trash within the school may be throw out of the window. All students will be checked before entering the building to make sure no trash from home is brought. In addition, nothing hazardous may be thrown out of the window. Of course, we will be locking anything dangerous up before the event. I will be patrolling the campus to make sure everything stays in order. Any students caught breaking rules during this time will be harshly punished. Yeah, and I bet somehow Beef is going to break the system. And Jello's going to die. She's so going to die, I can tell. Are there any questions about the event or the police while I am here? Um... Okay, a classmate that doesn't deserve a face. Why do officers have different uniforms? Are there ranks? That's a really good question. Officers do not exactly have ranks, but different officers have different duties. Cadets usually have standard uniforms and are only issued simple weapons. Their jobs include heading investigations by request or simple neighborhood patrols. Someone like me has been in a bit longer. More mature or talented officers head things like public events where control is a necessity. Our uniforms are a bit more custom to our needs. We are also issued weapons more comfortable with us to make executions more efficient. Yeah, I hope no one's going to be executed for, like, not throwing out the correct trash. God, that seems very harsh, you know. The, the, the law, anyway. Nothing is worse than a botched execution. There are even officers who are idols and have huge followings of fans. Really? I wonder if that's why Beef's doing this. That would make some sense. If we did have official rank, though, you could say the king is at the very top. It can't be royal police without a king, right? Yeah, but... Couldn't it just be all the royal officers work for the queen or king, and the king isn't part of the royal officers? Fine, cool, whatever. Strop continued to talk about the police system until lunch. Strop held Rooster back to talk about Canada. Alright, so this is the separation bit. Uh, I think some more disturbing content is going to come up. Beef, I didn't think you would come. Why are we so high up? Hmm? Are we going to push Jello off the edge? Yeah, well, the person I usually eat lunch with is a little busy right now. 
I actually went to vent if it's okay with you. I'm not your therapist, pay me. Yeah, because you already took $20 from us. Okay. I'm really worried about Jam. He didn't make it as a candidate for the Academy. He has been taking it hard. Hmm, that's sad. I made it though, and I feel really bad about it. Are you going to give your position to Jam? Is that going to throw beef over the edge? He scored high in everything but the academics. We have so many plans after high school. We're going to get married, get a house, have kids even. But now he is second guessing himself. He doesn't think he'll be able to get a good job to support us. What's that matter? Beef, come on. You'll be an officer. You'll be making enough for three sets of kids and so on. I know and I told him that. He is just taking it hard right now. Jam works hard. You guys will figure it out. He is just sore right now. Really? Do you think so? Yeah, you guys will be fine. Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't say that for sure. Beef, you've got your eye on her. You've got a cruel smile developing on your face and you're going to push her over the edge. You're on a balcony. She has to fall to her death. Beef, you're a great friend. Let's eat together. Uh, beef, do you think we could eat together tomorrow too? Mm, I don't think so because I think she's about to push you over. Yeah, we can eat together tomorrow too. Oh. Oh, okay, she didn't die. Okay, everyone, give a hand for this year's Academy candidates. Uh. Oh, Blank Face made it. Hooray. And everyone clapped. Cool. Ch even the NPC got it over me. Ha! <laughs> oh, wow. Very metaphysical there. Wow. Just shows how small the class is, though, doesn't it? I don't want to stop here. Mmm. I'm wondering how long it's going to take for the jello to get pushed over the edge though and get killed by beef. Because that's coming, I know it is. But this does seem like a good place to end it. Alright, I'm going to end the episode here. It's been really fun. I think I'll do one more episode because I normally do it in four parts. I was thinking about doing three parts because I just kind of find it hard to juggle with time sometimes. But this story is weirdly getting a bit personal for me now. I mean, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't do anything with animals and stuff, and I wouldn't kill someone or blame people, but there is something about being productive and efficient that kind of comes out of this, I don't know, society. And I feel like somehow the author's like portraying this through simple drawings of memes and like this business of creating something and always wanting things to go right and be efficient. But yeah, I don't know, I'm just like, I'm finding this story very interesting. I'm not sure how much longer this game will go on for though, um, but whatever, maybe it will be like, I'll do the next episode and there'll be like one or two more episodes after that, but I'll do that for another time. Whatever, it's been good, and you know what, who knows what will happen next episode? Will all shit break loose, or will it be just another calm session where Rooster and Beef just separate and go together again? Who knows? But yeah, if you want to play the game for yourself, you can find a link in the description below. Without further ado. Look up from books, subscribe to your channel. Until next time, see ya.